Um, here's the thing. I have been busy with uh, work obligations over the last couple of days, so I haven't been able to haven't been able to you know post uh, my last two um, videos. Um, like I said, every time I miss a video, I will extend it one day. But I wanted to make a video that was less showing you guys, you know, technical stuff and ex more explaining something that has really been kind of a bother for me in the past. Um, well, for one thing, I didn't tell you guys that, you know, the terminal that I've been using is actually, you know, written in GNU Step. Um, it is called terminal.app you know, as is the thing, um, and it uses a version of the Linux, uh, terminal, um, built into, uh, built into terminal app, so it, 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 I think it emulates a VT220 or a VT100, um, so it's a pretty good emulation, um, but here's the thing, um, can you step, well, I wanted to cover what can you step is, and what it isn't. Okay, I know that you guys see this right here. You see the dock, and you think, oh, look, it's Canoe Step. But you see, the dock is actually Window Maker. Okay, and there is a huge difference between Window Maker and Canoe Step. Window Maker is a window manager, Canoe Step is an API that is used to create and develop applications. Um, window Maker is a window manager that is meant to be used with GNU Step, but it is by no means the only window manager that it can be used with. Okay, there are certain standards that are followed by most uh, other window managers. I believe they were part of the free desktop standard from a while back. Um, window manager follows them. Or sorry, window maker follows them. Um, many other window managers do. Um, and therefore, GNU Step can be used with any one of those things. You saw it the other day when I used it with Mint. Okay. So, uh, the other thing is GNU Step does not maintain a compiler okay let me say that again GNU step does not maintain a compiler we are a project that builds the API the two projects that do um, build objective C compilers are GCC and and the uh, the LLVM project LLVM Clang now each one has its advantages and disadvantages uh, let's start with GCC. GCC is, of course, by the Free Software Foundation. The problem with GCC's implementation of Objective-C is that it's not complete. It implements some ver some bits of the 2.0 standard, but not all of them. Okay, It doesn't have blocks. It doesn't have various other functionality. Um, some things that are important for people to be able to build their applications. Okay, those are its disadvantages. Its advantage is it runs absolutely everywhere. I mean, if you want to build on ARM, GCC. If you want to use, if you want to build on some, you know, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, obscure piece of hardware that, you know, that is relatively, like, rare, GCC. If you want to use, um, you know, GCC is almost always going to work. If there exists a version of GCC on it, you can bet that, that you know, it's going to work. It's going to build, it's going to have a functional version of Objective-C 2 eight, not eight, nine times out of ten. Okay. Now, Clang. Clang is a great compiler. Clang is written modularly. GCC is not. Um, you know, you can take advantage of various things in Clang, like its 
parser and various other things in order to do syntax highlighting, in order to do, um, you know, extract information from the source code, however you want to do it. Clang was written this way on purpose because it makes it more useful for developers in order to be able to reuse parts of the compiler to do what they want. Okay, I could have used it in GORM when I did the header parser, but I couldn't because it didn't exist at the time. You know, and reusing GCC in order to do that was a non-starter because GCC isn't broken up in that way. However, Clang is. That's one of the advantages of Clang. The other advantages, uh, advantage of Clang is that it has a more or less complete implementation of Objective-C. And a very good, you know, exception uh, integration where it can throw and accept native exceptions, you know, and it can very basically like has everything you need in order to port your application from the Mac over to or, you know, other platforms, you know, uh, from the Mac over to GNU Step on Linux or Windows. The version, I mean, the application that I'm working on right now for Keysight called Eggplant, this is no secret, uses GNU Stat. This is a production product. Okay? There are other production products that use GNU Step as well. And, you know, and they use Clang in order to do that. Because Clang provides a complete you know, uh, implementation of Objective-C. However, the problem is, is that the runtime that uh, is used with Clang, the one that they use on the Mac, is not open source. Uh, so, the one that's written by David Chisnell, while excellent, does not run everywhere. Okay, let's be real. Uh, you know, we love you, David, and you've done a great job. However, the problem is, is that you can't use it everywhere. It's not compatible with every operating system. You know, it is extremely fast. It is complete, very complete in, in, in its support for the features that Clang offers, but it is not as portable, or rather, it has not been ported to as many platforms as GCC. And this is understandable only because it's not as old it's not as well entrenched. It's not as well used. You know, these are the things that we have to deal with. So we have two imperfect choices with respect to compilers. You know, and and I understand, you know, this... <laughs> what is it? Uh, you know, this... Um, let me do a couple things here just to keep it entertaining. Um, you know, I mean, you know, it's just... It's one of those things, and it's like... You know, you just don't, like, you don't, like, um, have any perfect choices when it comes to those kinds of things with GNU Step. You know, so people just need to understand these things. And, you know, if you can help us make things better, then help us make things better. Help us get to the point where we have more, you know... Uh, compatibility and more uh, what is it uh, ability to support people bringing their stuff over because you know people think that you know we love Apple at on GNU step some of us do some of us don't some of us don't I mean to me part of the point of this is freedom you need to have the freedom in order to run your software anywhere you like and or to build your software any anywhere you like and deploy it you know, on Windows or Linux or wherever, and, you know, this new step gives you the freedom to do that, you know. Also, huh, people keep on asking us to, 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 to build on Darwin or on, or on Mac. Um, I mean, I can understand building on the open source version of Darwin, you know, because you don't have, like, a Cocoa implementation there, and new step is a Cocoa implementation, not Next step, not open step. It is Coco. Okay? Please get that through your heads. Coco, not open step, not next step. We are a Coco implementation. Yes, we retain the look of next step. 
Yes, we retain the look of open step. But as you saw the other day, we can do theming. So, the point is, you know, we can look like anything. We can look like Windows. We can look like the Mac. There, are, I mean, I'm going to show you guys some of that in the future. I mean, in the future, in future posts. But just please understand, we are Coco. We are not Next Step or no Open Step or anything like that. And those those venerable operating systems and you know APIs are wonderful and have set an example for the world. They're back in 1995. You know, GNU Step is part of the future. We are not a museum project. You know, you know, we are used by a lot of different companies. I once got called by a company called a portable, uh, you know, and was asked, do you know that you're, that the, that the GNU Step project is used on millions of devices out there? And I was like, no. And they were like, well, now you know. And that was because they had created a version of, uh, you know, uh, of the, the, uh, APIs that ran on mobile devices and now it's used on it's used on, uh, on by a company named Pocket Gems. A lot of people don't know that because that's exactly what GNU Step is. In some ways we are a submarine project. People use this and they don't say anything. You know. So but anyway, that's my post for today. I know it was a bit of a rant, but you know, it was some a lot of things that it was a lot of things that needed to be said, and I do apologize that uh, you know um, I haven't been posting for the past couple of days, but I will make up for those. I'll probably do another post later today if I can get some of this stuff for work out of the way, and I thank you for your kind attention.